Hi Psych 100 students, this is Dr. Balhan and today we're going to examine the brain structures. My students often tell me that this is a difficult chapter because there are so many new terms and they are right, there are a lot of new terms that you may have to learn. My advice is to make sure you do your reading, listen to this lecture, review our other materials on Canvas, and then maybe repeat all of that again. That'd be pretty normal. So let's jump right in. We're first going to look at the hindbrain. This is the part of the brain that is not thinking, so you're not in control of the functions served by the hindbrain. And it is all about survival. The hindbrain allows you to breathe, keeps your heart beating, lets you sense the world, and move around in it. The first structure we'll look at is the cerebellum. This is called the little brain and it is involved in our motor coordination and our balance. Now the cerebellum doesn't make you move, but it helps you move smoothly and efficiently. The cerebellum is also very sensitive to alcohol. That means it gets really drunk. Uh, if you've ever observed a drunk person, or if perhaps you have been that drunk person, you might have noticed that that person doesn't seem to have a lot of balance and that's because the cerebellum has been inhibited by the alcohol that person consumed and it is no longer coordinating balance and movement very effectively. From the cerebellum we'll look at the brain stem so we're still in the hindbrain we're still talking about survival functions. The brain stem is a collection of structures that is all about keeping us alive. The first structure we'll look at is the medulla. This regulates our breathing and our heart rate. If your medulla is not working, if it is not sending electrical signals, then you are considered brain dead. This is the part of the brain that physicians will test in order to see if their patients are brain dead or not. So no medulla activity no breathing, no heart beating on our own. Sitting at the top of the brainstem is the thalamus, and this is the structure that allows us to sense our world. The thalamus receives sensory information and then sends it to other areas of, in the, of the brain that allow us to process that sensory information. And finally, we have the reticular formation. This is a nerve network that runs through the entire length of the brain stem and it is about keeping us alert so it regulates our arousal allowing us to both sense and deal with the information coming at us from our world. So in looking at the hindbrain it's really important to remember that this is all about survival. Can you move around in the world? Can you sense the world? And then biologically can your body survive in the world with uh, heart rate, breathing, and some alertness.